Rights International is a non-governmental organization established in 1997 with a commitment to promote and protect the inherent dignity of every child and to contribute to the realization of the fundamental human rights of children, as well as the development of their unique abilities, talents, and personalities. That is why we say an adult is a child who has survived. In ensuring the implementation of effective, efficient, and sustainable programs in the cocoa sector, Child Rights International has adapted the Ghana Child Labor Monitoring System as a holistic and dynamic process for eliminating child labor through community-based approach and targeting system for remediation. Its design is consistent with the Children's Act 1998 Act 560. This system was established and developed by the Ghana government under the National Program for the Elimination of Worst Forms of Child Labor in COCO in partnership with key stakeholders to tackle the issue of child labor. The GCLMS is a three-tier system. The first tier is the structural pillar, which consists of the Community Child Protection Committee, the School Management Committee, the District Child Protection Committee, and the Reading Club. All of these structures are tasked with managing issues of child protection and advocacy in the communities. The Community Child Protection Committee is vital in the communities because community members report issues of child protection to them and through their efforts, lasting solutions are provided. <laughs> The committee also leads in the implementation of remediation and reports back to the District Child Protection Committee formed at the district level. One of the greatest achievements that for me is by helping the department, in fact the whole municipality, in initiating the municipal child panel committee. The cases are many, but those that I think that we have been able to do is one in Betinko, where this young boy is about 11 years old, and this boy is suffering from multiple disabilities. Um, this young guy was in the room and couldn't come out. At the time the matter was reported to us, the mother had divorced the father. And so this boy was left alone in the room and he was being catered by the younger brother who is just eight years old. And this boy was not going to school because the father has asked him to take care of the brother in the house. And so the Child Protection Committee just elected the fraud officer. We were able to send this eight-year-old boy back to the school and we asked the father, this paralyzed boy, to take good care of him. In fact, we, 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 we were preparing to give the little boy a, a wheelchair where he can relax under the tree and then just see how the children are also playing in the communities. The school management committee also plays a key role in supporting the various structures in handling issues of child protection. Yeah, SMC chairman at the school. Through that advocacy, at the young cry and I said, just at the man cry no. At the time, man, the number one in the school, man. At the time, the day, I pay job on the name. At the child rise, you may be able to deal with the two crumbs there. But the time, I can't see so dear, say a boy. The real life, man, if you cry, I'm going school, no. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in school. At the time, I'm going to be in allowing the CCPCs and other community structures established to carry out effective work and support children in more targeted manner, the next year in the GCLMS is data collection. This helps to determine the kind of support needed in the various communities. The data collection leads to the creation of a community register, and out of this register, needs assessments are made to determine the kind of support children require. So, I'm 
Aye, ni awo phone. Omo no ma kasa. Aje ensemfu ebi efi awo phone. Omo uya enkola ewo fi omo timi fredi. No omo no ma kasa. Ebu se ebu se omo questions. Afa omo sitrem ni school omo ko. Ene ni ema omo ko omo yusu ni na. Into umbe data collection ni uya omo samba back. Ede enkola ebi di ba se ewo se. Omo shi omo sitrem omo school ko no omo ye enkola ni bi owa. Nani ema unko yeye, tena wasi wamuba ena unkala ano, au phone sababu shi ano mudi unkomo. The community register establishes the bio information of community members, sorts out children in school, dropouts, recruited, transported, sexually exploited, in bondage and child labour, and classifies them under children at high risk, hazardous condition and worst forms of child labour. Currently active in seven regions, the GCLMS has been established in 511 communities, covering a total of 191,340 household members in 38,033 households. Based on this data, children between the ages of 5 to 17 are targeted to know whether they are involved in child labor or not. Children who have been captured under the classification are targeted for remediation program, which is the last year of the GCLMS. Under the remediation is the follow-up and monitoring stage. At this last stage, follow-ups are made to ascertain the true state of children and the level of support needed. By so doing, they are placed in apprenticeship, vocational and technical education, such as masonry, welding, fashion designing, tiling, mechanical electronics, bakery, and many more. We free and trade you and then we answer your goals. I see a juma, I see a juma. I almost have a phone in China. Me that was a pass it. On my buami, on my mammy, and Jay. Miss me one fire said, A juma, I'm my dad, tell me, me who now misses me, and I'm a phone buam, and I'm going to see me, I'm going to see me, I'm going to see me, those already in school are also provided with educational materials to empower them and to have a sound mind to study while staying in school. I'm a good school at here, but not school fees journey in the marketing activity. I'm a four bread into my mid jive home and I'm a bar, really bring punk as I think. Now we're doing some bits now for the bat and it's nearly the same thing. You think I'm a bass in the job if you cry. If you do time, you know. Um, on the top of the door, we could not almost on the one. And I mean, scholarship. It's a massive machine. The place may India grow. We have moved here. I might win a better resource. In T. Mr. Omo, say, or massive machine, or maybe the Montuan is what they share. Before without them, no, I think, say, it will be in vain. Mr. Omo, no man in the park. Under a scholarship program, many students have gained access to the university to study science, business, Arts, nursing, and many more. Hi, I'm Fianco Obini Wadura, a student from Nursing and Midwifery Training College of Fugidia. I'm coming from Edmedim Chinkulabi community in the Eastern region. After my secondary school program, due to financial difficulties, I was unable to continue, but through the help of scholarship program, I was able to gain an admission into the school and I'm currently in second year. I want to say a very big thank you for contributing towards my education. The scholarship really helped me a lot in learning in class, no worrying about when the teacher will just come to the class and just sat you for fees. It really helped me um, in so many ways because I can also save for other items like books. I really hope and pray that I'll become a graphic designer so I can help other people. Literary projects have enhanced reading and learning for children in rural communities. Our Read to Lead project has reached over 80% of children in our operational areas. The minds of children are engaged daily to develop their literacy skills, promote equal opportunities for all children, develop a positive attitude towards reading and encourage reading for pleasure.
participation and advocacy is also called in the implementation of remediation. And uh, you have a say, you can say Charlie Bay again. You can say Charlie Bay. And then the BBA AC and Freddy BBA Charlie Bay. The BBA AC and Freddy BBA. Now, you say, I'll be saying, you say, my name is Bowfi, and I'm a man of quiet in the agra, and also, you see, I'm a man of quiet. And okay, I'm going to be saying, okay. Child participation is promoted through discussions. In one of our project communities, children openly spoke about the absence of electricity in their community for the past two years. Lights you call you, yes, you call you. Nice. And you know, first, now you're the electricity, now you the power, you know, you're the pump, you know. But you're the school, 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 you with supervision by their patrons. This plan is used for advocacy in their various communities. Some clubs embark on cleanup exercises, drama, floats, sticking and sharing of IEC materials, donations, inter-schools competitions, and many more. Our cultural troops established in selected project communities are one of the several ways our clubs engage children. They get the chance to socialize and have fun. They dance, while learning about their cultural heritage and traditions. These are the steps in place to have a full rollout of the Ghana Child Labor Monitoring and Remediation System. Through this, we have seen lives of children change, dreams revitalized, and children are smiling again. This is what we do at Child Rights International with our partners.